Hey everybody, welcome to Grand Rapids, Michigan. We are at American RV and uh, this is a very special day for us. I'm Mike Wendland. And I'm Jennifer Wendland. And we are live streaming here on uh, all of our channels a special traveling tech demo with uh, Verizon Wireless. They brought a bunch of their gadgets. We are going to talk tech. This has been a lot of fun. Oh, it's been very interesting. We've got uh, lots of people here. We've been around for a couple hours and we'll be staying a few in the Grand Rapids area. Come on over. Otherwise, uh, this will be up on the Facebook page and many people can see. Let's give them a quick look around and uh, switch cameras. And uh, this is, uh, that's our rig right there. We've been letting people go through. And there's my pal, you're going to meet him in a minute, Steve Van Dinter from Verizon Wireless. Here's some folks that have come by. They're eating hot dogs and all that stuff. Everybody say hello to everybody on Facebook. Yeah. Be enthusiastic. Get those hot dogs out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, let's go. And uh, Jennifer, let's go see if we, we can get Steve to show right, us. We need Steve to tell us what he's got here. Hey, Steve. We're going to hey we're going to introduce uh, interrupt ourselves here. And uh, how are you, man? Hey, good. Hey, how's everyone on Facebook? This Thanks is so much for joining. And YouTube. This will be up and on YouTube, YouTube awesome. as well. Steve, of course, many of you know from the podcast, uh, the RV podcast. <laughs> he's just a voice. This is him. He's live really there. Flesh. He's live and he uh, he's doing well. Animated. And he's got lots of gadgets, smokes, and gadgets. And uh, we've we've been having a lot of fun. So, Steve, let's start talking yeah, about some of this gear. Cool. Here's what we'll do: we're going to show the gear. We'll show a little bit of our RV, and then we yep. can answer questions from people all around it. who are watching us. So, I love it. why don't you start, and I'll yeah, do my best. So let's look here, Mike. We've got a, so I've got this section basically set up as kind of our connected home, right? Uh, and that home has a broad definition. So that means at home or in your RV away from home. Lots of cool things. So this is the Wemo Insight switch. What you do is you plug this into a uh, normal outlet. Anything you plug into it here now can be controlled via an app. So you can turn lights on and off. You can turn radio on and off. Coffee makers, you know, you name it, uh, from anywhere in the world or even from across the RV. So those are really cool. Next up, we got the cool products from Nest. Uh, this is the Nest uh, thermostat and uh, the Nest camera. Did I mix them up? There we go. There we go. <laughs> thermostat. Looking at it upside down here. We got the thermostat and the Nest Cam. Cool thing is, this is actually a live look in at my place. You can see right now at home it's 80 degrees. Um, so if I wanted to turn my air conditioning on, I could go right down here and hit cooling. And it's going to go ahead and pop on my air conditioning. You'll see it blue in a second when it turns it on. There we go. So now air conditioning just popped on at my place, which is 300 miles away. And then if I wanted to check in and see a live look, make sure everything's all good. There's a live look in at my place right now. It looks like uh, things are doing well, which is always a good sign. Right? Now this is something we could put in our home. But, Absolutely. but this is a cool thing. We could also put this right in the RV. In the RV. Um, all it needs is a Wi-Fi network. Yep, just need a Wi-Fi connection. And Mike, you're going to show in a little bit when we go in your RV how exactly you got that. I, I never start my RV without having a Wi-Fi, <laughs> and we'll show how easy that it is. On the internet. <laughs> I do. Uh, so, folks, this is really a cool thing. This, yes. This Nest uh, it would be awesome in terms of um, being able to monitor w what the temperatures are inside your house and uh, what's going on in there. If Absolutely. you leave your dog in there while you're gone yep. away. No. Yep. You, let's say you've got a babysitter or a house sitter that's coming in. You want to make sure they get there or not. Also, let's say you're worried about people that shouldn't be in your house, right, that are getting in there. It's going to notify you of activity detected in your home. Activity means movement. Also, people. If you see that people warning, it's going to actually send you a screenshot with the picture of the person. So it doesn't look like someone that should be in your house. You can pick up the phone and call. Or the other thing, you can actually push a button in the app and talk through with the camera itself. Really Pretty cool, cool stuff. Next up. This is uh, connected lighting. So, you know, white lighting is great. It's lasted for how many, like 100, 200 years for us. Um, these are LED light bulbs though. So not only are you gonna get the benefit of 80% uh, energy savings because they are LEDs, but the other cool thing, they have a Wi-Fi chip built into them. Each of the bulbs can talk to each other and also to the app. So now you can turn your lights in your house any color that you want. You can turn them on and off, you can dim them, you can make them brighter, um, whatever you want to do. Let's say you're away from home for maybe a month because you're out on uh, a road trek. Um, you can turn them on and off at random so it looks like your home, looks like there's activity and someone's not going to bother with your house while you're gone. So I love that about those lights. Uh -huh. Next up, Chromecast. So a lot of people today we've been talking to have been talking about cutting the cable, want to get rid of uh, the cable because they're on the road or they just want to be able to bring their content mobily, right? This is a great device. This is plugs into any uh, television that has a HDMI port. This is again going to connect to that Wi-Fi hotspot that we talked about. Um, but anything that's on your phone that you that you can access on your device. 
device, you can now Chromecast uh, or send to your television and actually watch it on there. Um, so we're talking Netflix, we're talking YouTube, but we're also talking pictures and videos that we shoot ourselves and then we want to share with others. So gather people at the end of the road trek, uh, pop it up on your TV or hey, while you're, uh, while you're driving, maybe, uh, maybe your wife wants to take a, a watch and look at some of the pictures and videos you guys have took, taken on a big screen, you can do just that with it. Well, that's a really great idea. So many people at the end of the night, you've taken all these photos on your trip. Mm -hmm. You just uh, pop that into your TV and uh, connect by Wi-Fi, and there you go. You and can look away and see. you go. Ah. All right, so next up, I like this one as well. This is called the Hum X. This uh, takes your uh, your car from zero to smarter in like 30 seconds. You just pop this into any vehicle that has an OBD port, so that's an onboard diagnostics port. That's that little port, usually to the left of the steering wheel, Absolutely. underneath the and dash. If you take it into a mechanic, that's what they pop in to uh, get the reading of your vehicle. Now you get the power of that information in your hands and not have to take it to the mechanic first. So let's say a check engine light comes on when you're driving. You don't know what that means typically. Now you do because you're going to get a notification right on your phone uh, with regards to what that means. So, so many times you'll get an error code while yep. you're driving down. And if you have that, it will actually explain what that error code is. So when you call a dealer, if you need help, you know what the problem is. That's a great thing. Uh, yeah, great so service. that's cool. You can also get a teen driver at home. Uh, sorry for the kids that are out there, but uh, you can actually monitor their speeds as well as where they're driving. So you want to set boundaries, you want to set a speed limit as soon as they exceed either of those. You're going to get a notification as the parent. You can now decide if there's going to be discipline involved. Well, I can put one of those in Jennifer's car. Right? <laughs> That's a better idea. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So next up, we've... Oh, this is, sorry, this is also uh, the speaker that goes with it. So the nice thing about this, this talks to the OBD uh, reader device, which has a 4G LTE chip built into it. Now you can make calls. It's HD calling um, it will hold, uh, with no hands, so hands-free. Uh, nice part of it. You also get a free hotspot included with this, so other people who are in your car can actually hop online, surf the web, stream videos, things like that, all thanks to this whole home system. So lots of uh, features that come with it. These... We know what these are. We need to protect our devices because we now got what, $800, $700 devices in our hands. And I can't believe how many people don't have a good case for their phone. Don't have protection on You got one. You got a nice case. I got a nice case, but uh, I learned the hard the way. <laughs> I learned the hard way why you have to have a good case. Uh -huh. um, these look a little different though. UA yeah, protection, so what these, is that? These are brand new uh, from Under Armour um, that we just started carrying all sorts of them. So, the grip, this is going to have a lot of rubber and also some extra ridges on it to make for better grip uh, so that you don't drop it as much. It does, though, have drop protection for up to 8 feet, so hopefully you're not up higher than 8 feet dropping your device. You may have other issues at that point, but, but 8 feet is a, is a good enough distance uh, for you. This one is the stash. So this actually has room for three credit cards to fit in there as well. So if you don't want to bring your wallet, uh, but you got your phone, now your phone essentially is your wallet. Um, you just got your, you slide your cards in there. This also, again, anti-shock proof also drop protection to 10 feet on that one um, so that's a little added protection there uh, and then you've got here the protect verge um, which is just a little bit more sleeker looking one um, again you're gonna get drop protection to 8 feet and these are all compatible which is what's called a connect um, so this attaches to your um, your case itself so let's say you work out in the gym or you want to mount your phone to your vehicle you can do that with magnets here. It's going to hold your phone in place, and now you can shoot a video, you can take a picture, do whatever, all with uh, this device. That's very cool. Yeah, and then this is the free life proof. Um, love this because you're going to give it's water. It's not free. Free it's not as free. in free. There's the name. Is the F R E. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jokes on you. No. Um, but this is cool because it really is shock proof, waterproof, dirt proof. So if you have a device, let's say an iPhone 6, that's not waterproof by nature. Now you put one of these cases on, now you can go swimming with it. That's good. Uh, Maureen just says, nice to put a face to a voice, Steve. Good oh. info. Thanks. Thank you, Maureen. Well, thank you, hey, what's the matter with this face, Maureen? Uh, and and then this, speaking, uh, of, speaking of faces, yeah. this is cool. So this is the Allure selfie case. This is for the person that wants it all in their case. So not only is it going to be shot proof and drop proof, but now look, Mike, we can look just as good in any light, whether it's shady, it's sunny, you know, you name it. It's also dimmable, I can turn it on and off, and it's got what's called an eye ring in the back, which means you can prop up as well to watch videos, take a look at those, or even let it take a picture for you. I, I need, need one of those. I yeah. need one of those. You do I need one. It's a gift opportunity. It is a gift opportunity. <laughs> Uh, I love it. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. All right, moving All right. from the cases now. Now to we got some devices and, and power things. So, a uh, couple devices here, and I have them switched in front of the boxes. Um, but the first one here, this is the new Moto Z2 Play. 
Uh, what I love about these, it's super thin, which is nice, but it's also got these really cool connectors on the back. So you see this uh, basically copper um, vacuum. Yeah. So what there are is different um, mods that they call that you can snap on. So let's say you want a, uh, a, a Hasselblad camera. You can actually just snap it right on. There's also a speaker mod. There's a projector mod. So you can actually snap something on that turns your phone into a projector. So anything that's on the front screen actually gets projected out to 70 inches on a sheet, on, you know, if you want to do a garage show. Again, at the, in a campsite at the end of the day, show them the pictures. Be awesome. You pair it with a Bluetooth speaker, and now you got a full cinema in the yeah. middle of nowhere. That is pretty cool. Uh, this yeah. is the Moto. The stuff. Moto Z2 Play, yep. And then there's a, a new addition, actually, this year, a mod, uh, a gaming uh, pad as well, so you can attach it and give gaming capabilities to it. So that is cool. The this, Pixel. This, no, uh, so this is actually um, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Why is it in the Google? I put it in the Google, and it's okay. a Google device, so. Right. It's, just, it's the only stand I had, uh, to be it's a good thing. <laughs> um, This has the amazing infinity screen, so you see here it looked beautiful from edge to edge. Samsung really does make amazing screens. I know you've uh, you you got a chance. You talked me into getting one of these. I did, yeah, it's, uh, so it's also it. waterproof. I can, uh, it is very much out. waterproof. Yeah. And actually, we wanted to show. Let's bring it over here. While we're at it, this was, this was not planned, Mike. Oh! Wait a minute. Where'd the phone go? Where'd it go? It is down. Oh. <laughs> Uh -oh. Let's go fishing. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Where is it? I can't well, find it, Steve. One. I actually can't, can't find, find it. Can't find it? I think it went all the way to the bottom. Oh. Where did it go? Oh, we found it. I found it. Cool. Oh, it is very oh. cold. Oh, Even though it's cold. it's cold, but it's doing very well here. Uh, with that now it is going to frost up I wonder what it's going to say it's not 82 oh that's reading the outside yeah it's reading the outside temperature so. but you'll notice like touchscreen does work everything is functional this camera on it is absolutely stunning as well now it's not going to look great because it's fogging up because of it's being cold right now but it is a beautiful beautiful camera yeah, it's just that's just fog the right that's just fog no it's not uh, not the device yeah. having an issue yeah, yeah. Uh, but no that's it's great because like honestly how many times have you been afraid when you're next to water that your someone's going to splash it perhaps or it's going to fall out now you've had it actually fall into I water had it fall eight feet of water in. I pulled it off the bottom and uh, the camera that went in before it didn't fare too well oh, but mine no. did fine uh, Cheryl uh, it says uh, very cool Joe I have an S8 plus that's what I have as awesome. well Joe great I love business. it I have the same thing all right all right so we from got a wet phone from the wet phone now to we got to get the now. power yeah so one of the things that we struggle with right is always having enough power we got a couple options here for you this is going to be your portable option this is the Mophie power Power station. This is an exter external uh, charger. It's going to have a couple ports for you to plug in. It also has its own cable built in as well, so both for iPhone and Android, so you don't have to worry about bringing a cable along. You can actually plug it right in. going to give you about 24 extra hours of battery life, so really nice to have. Throw it in a backpack, put it in a purse. Love it for that. This, and then I this. love this. I have this in mine. I power up my dash cam with it. Yeah, I power up an, an, a second GPS I use. And the beauty is, as I can charge all of our phones with it yeah, as well. Yeah, four USB ports. You have one regular AC port, and then this just plugs into your cigarette lighter. Um, awesome in terms of being able to power so many different devices, and it's just running off of your, uh, your, your right. adapter. Now, this. Everybody knows These about cool. smartwatches, but boy, have they evolved. They quickly. have evolved. So I'm wearing the black version of this. This is the silver version. This is the Wear 24. So this is a smartwatch that's exclusive to Verizon. Check this out. How cool is this? I'm having trouble because there's a lot of reflection. How on far screen. is it to Detroit, Michigan? So it has a built-in Google automatically. So you see there we've got yeah, a, map, a map and it's telling our directions. And it's going to send the directions now to my phone to actually get it kick-started for us if we wanted to. Anything you can ask Google, you can now do via your phone, via your watch, I should say. The other great thing about this is I don't need my phone with me, right? So my phone could be turned off, could be back home. I may be out hiking, and I want to make sure I get calls and texts and things like that. This is a device that's going to do that for you. Again, that's called the Wear 24. So you can leave your phone back, charging, whatever you Absolutely. want to do. Absolutely. Just with the watch. You can actually get phone calls. You can get phone calls. Far away. Yeah, so this one is a different version of an LT. This one also has a 4G chip built into it. This is made by Samsung. This is the Gear S3. Um, you're going to get the same fast experience. Uh, again, the ability to have notifications sent to you. Um, you're going to have now a different one. This is running on what's called a Tizen, which is Samsung's proprietary operating system. So it doesn't have quite as many apps available for download, but it is a solid device in the screen. Again, we talked about Samsung making amazing screens, right? It looks beautiful. Um, the other nice thing about this one, you'll notice as I scroll down here, it has Samsung Pay. So the one differentiator between Samsung Pay and Android Pay and um, Apple Pay is Samsung Pay works at anywhere where you can swipe a credit card. So you know, anywhere. Anywhere. So with an iPhone or with an Android, typically it has to have that little wireless symbol. This one, 
if you can swipe a card, you can tap with your watch. So I do like that about this device. Some people, though, Mike, aren't ready to make that full smartwatch conversion, right? But they like the extra features. Now, this looks like a chip typical analog watch, right? Nothing different about it. This is actually a smartwatch. So it's got a Bluetooth chip in it. It's called the Fossil Q Hybrid. Um, and there's, uh, there's one for more men for men, uh, which is this design. It's got a nice stainless steel. There's a ladies' version as well called the Q Taylor. This is the Q Grant. What you can do is you set uh, important people in your life as hands on the dial. So let's say Jennifer is the number one in your life. Which she I hope she, she is. She is. All right. I'll just, just check in. <laughs> so let's say Jennifer calls or sends a text, right? If that happens, the hands on the watch will go to the 1 o'clock position. So you'll get a vibration on your wrist, you'll look down, it goes to one. Now you know, I better check my phone because Jennifer is calling or texting. I kind of like the way I identify when she calls me. How's I that? have uh, ZZ Top's legs, please. <laughs> this is my ringtone. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, it's a personal thing, I nice. guess. All right, uh, enough no, of that. Yeah. yeah, no, I love it. No, perfect. Cool smartphones. Um, they do come. Watches, yeah. Would you wear what you'd want a woman's version of that? Yeah, something not quite so big. Yeah, yeah. They and Fossil's been doing a lot of great things with their uh, smart, smart smart accessories. So um, there's probably something out there that you'd like. Cool. Now this mic we actually got inside, so we're going to show the Galaxy Book a little bit later. Yeah. Um, this is a new tablet though, and it's a little different than most tablets. This thing runs on Windows, Windows 10. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We'll come to that. You'll see that in a moment with a cool gadget, but. Whoa, I know these things. So these are speakers. Looks like my little guy fell over here. There we go. Okay. Um, so these are speakers. This is the Bose Soundsport Revolve, and this is the UE Boom 2. Cool thing about this guy, it's 360 degree audio, right? So what that means is I have the ability to hear the same amount of sound coming from any angle of this device. The other nice thing with this one is it is completely waterproof. So I'm going to prove that to you, and uh, let's pop up. You know, now that you just said that, should we play the leg song? Yeah, you got legs? I like it. <laughs> this is um, really a nice little speaker. This is the UE Boom 2. And it comes in different colors, right? Is it does, yes. It comes in multi. So you're the music. So take it now. I want you to throw it in that pot of water. <laughs> Everybody, it's time to dance. Do me the honors. Throw that in the water for me, will you? Come on, throw it in the water. Throw it in the water. There we go. Don't throw it. Oh no! Oh no! Our music oh. is gone, and the crowd goes coming oh. in. Oh no! Well, you got the bill gets to fish it out. Okay, Bill, you got to take it out. That's cold water. Let's see. Let's see. It gets pretty cold oh, in there. Okay. Way down there. Bill's looking for beer in that water. I know. Yeah, I know, but I'm not beer. Where's that can? Where is it? Yeah, I found it. The sinks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Turn it up. Uh oh. There we go. Now I actually have to play the song again. Oh, we got to play it again. It we does turn cut the out when it goes in the Look at that. Now shake it. Get that water out. Oh, everybody. Yeah, yeah, we're so glad to know that it works. It's not a really shake it. There you go. Thank you, Bill. Oh, there we go. So that's, that is pretty that's cool. nice because you don't have Gen to worry. Gen, <laughs> that's great. You don't have to worry about it dropping in the water uh, awesome. and then having an issue. Well, again, I've let that thing submerge up to three hours. Um, pulled it out and, it's, and it worked just fine. So um, it is uh, something that's very nice to take with you to the beach, the pool, things like that. I love it. Now this one we should not drive while we're playing with Yeah, this. I would I would highly recommend not, but this is the latest version of the Samsung Gear VR. Um, you just pop your Samsung Galaxy S8 device into your edge, also compatible with the other versions of Samsung, all the way down to the uh, Note 5. Um, that just pops in. What it's going to do is automatically bring up, it's going to use your phone actually as the screen, and so when you wear this device, you're being immersed now uh, in any sort of video that you've taken with a 360 degree video device, any pictures you've taken, also tons of content. So YouTube has an entire VR channel that's dedicated to immersive experiences from national parks to jumping out of a plane uh, to flying with the Blue Angels, one of my favorites. If you haven't done it, it's a great experience. I've done that. Did it's you do It's so it? fun. I, now, I haven't it. flown in real life, but I feel like I did because I did it in real I life. actually did the real one with them once. <laughs> no yeah, way. That's great. awesome. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll show that. But now comes our little fine thing. First of all, let's tell them how cool this is. This is a tripod that, we're, that I have a big one of these for my big camera, yep. but this will wrap around anything. Yeah, so this is what's called either the Joby or Joby. You know, you and I were both. We don't know if it's Joby or Joby, but either it's way. It's J-O-B-Y, yeah. regardless. Um, I love it though. Let me just show you what happens here. Look at how you I can hold it. untwist it, so it's got these little legs on it, and it's magnetic. Can I try in your car? You can. All right, so let's see. Look at that. So now, 
I can just let them hang out. And it's actually now broadcasting in 360 degrees. In fact, let's and just you can show see it. it right there. There so we are. So for folks who are on, uh, you, you broadcast this lake out, right? Yeah. So uh, you can actually go in, and if you look here, we can spin around in a circle, and we're probably going to see ourselves over here. We'll see uh, Jennifer in a moment. There she is, up just hiding behind. Here the I place. am. That's me. Um, Where is so it? Where'd I go? <laughs> it's really cool. There's so, Jennifer. Yeah. That's me. And you can do That's it up, you? so we can see up to the sky, we can see down to the ground. Um, it's really, really cool. Um, so imagine being able to take that on the road with you, and when you go to your experiences, being able to share this live. I also love the idea of having this at a wedding, at a family function, because now you're bringing, you're bringing people along that maybe couldn't travel with you, um, but they can pop on a VR device, or they can watch it on Facebook like you're seeing here. That's pretty um, and cool. feel like they're actually there, right? So that's all done from this little camera, which, which uh, Steve just mounted on the side of our so I will say, to make this work, you've got, you've got this device, it's actually talking over Wi-Fi direct to my cell phone, which is connected over the Verizon 4G network. And so anyway, you got a, a, a signal, you're good to go. Now you're broadcasting this right now on your, on your channel, and yeah. you, we'll have a link and we'll put it uh, in the notes, in the comments. Uh, when this video gets posted as a main video, so you can actually watch it because it has a microphone and it does sound, Absolutely. the whole thing, it's really yep. fun. Like and uh, there we are again. And now you are going to show us some of the cool things that you do inside your RV, right? Well, uh, you know, the question I think, I'm going to switch this around, give okay. you this. All I right. think the question that we have been asked the most on this whole day. spin around here, get some better lighting the on most, The most we've been asked is how we make a Wi-Fi connection. And I have, we talk about it every week on the podcast, we talk about it on the blog, but everybody wants to actually see it. So uh, we're actually broadcasting this live report right now through our Wi-Fi connection, which is a 4G LTE connection. Um, Bill, yes, as my witness, you saw when I did the download speed, we had 35 megabits per second download, 37 megabits of upload, which is really fast. Super and, fast. Um, it's here, but here's how I do it in mine. So come on in. This is a tough, tough, tough thing. I have everything mounted on the side, but this is the hub, uh, the heart of it all. This is the. Um, uh, the Verizon Jetpack, it's uh, a little wireless network, uh, it's 4G, LTE, I have never, uh, I shouldn't say never, maybe twice in the last 15,000 miles have I found an area where I couldn't get a signal, where there just weren't any cell phone signals, so it was very low. That's how good the, that's why I use Verizon, and it has nothing to do with the fact that you guys are a sponsor, it's, that's what I use, and it's very reliable. But as soon as I come in, I have that Wi-Fi network running. It's uh, plugged in. I had them uh, adapt and put a couple of uh, uh, this little AC plug in here. This actually uh, is for the Wi-Fi card. And then I have a 12-volt plan. That's, uh, that's also running uh, this device down here. This is a cell phone booster. So when I can't get a signal, or if I'm in an area where the signal's weak, this booster uses an external antenna and pulls that in and then rebroadcasts it throughout here. The, the jet pack picks it up and then I have this solid network. We were in Montana and uh, in the middle of nowhere near Glacier National Park. And uh, while we were there, I was the only one, well, somebody else who had Verizon, we were the only ones that had a signal. No one else had a signal. So you really, that's all you need is that card. Um, if, if you really travel in very remote places, you might want to pick up a booster too. But, um, but that's what that's what everybody was asking, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. Um, all right, well, let's, uh, let's take some let's, questions. Let's go down, and we're going to sit down. And I know there's a bunch of you. Let's see, we got a comment. Uh, Paul, I love the road trip. Well, thank you, Paul. Um, I should, again, point out where we are. We are at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we're here till about 7 o'clock. Now, there's some food. And uh, we're going to sit down here at a table, and let's see if we can, uh, we'll switch the camera so we can actually see your questions and comments as you, as you bring them in. There we go. Uh, Cheryl says, this I have to have. I'm not so sure what it was, Cheryl. That was when you were talking about the MiFi. The MiFi? It might have been. I didn't see where you said that, Cheryl. So let's both get in here, and we'll see if we can put that up. There we go. We'll, all right, so uh, go ahead. If you had questions, folks, you can ask them. We'll have to lean forward to read them every day. If we have any questions out here, you guys just raise your hand too, and we'll be happy to answer anything yeah, uh, so anything you want to have. <laughs> I think the thing that everybody was asking most about was um, connectivity on the road. Absolutely. 
And, and um, how you're, yeah, especially on the Wi-Fi side. So what are the options when it comes to Wi-Fi? We talked uh, with many folks. You obviously have the MiFi, which is a jetpack device. And, uh, and others we talked about, you know, um, kind of putting a toe in the water, starting to use their um, hotspot on their phone. So if you've got an Android or an iOS device, you can turn a personal hotspot on. I know it does uh, use battery as well, which you're, you're concerned yeah. about. Um, yeah, I get the question I get asked a lot is why don't you, what's wrong with just using your Android or iPhone for a hotspot? And there's nothing. It works great. And if you're going to use it for a long time, it's going to wear out your battery really quick. And that's why I like the Jetpack. And you can see I had mine plugged in. It's always on. Uh, in the Connect Five devices, I don't use those batteries up. I don't use their time. Um, although now it's pretty affordable, right? It's uh, what's the price of, of a Jetpack? For a Jetpack around fifty dollars, and then it's going to be if you're on our limited plan, which I highly recommend if you're going to get a Jetpack, um, it's going to be twenty dollars extra. Yeah, and, and that is such an easy, uh, amazing, uh, an easy and an amazing way to stay connected. The connection is so fast that. Uh, Really, I, I could dump cable at my home. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Ed, how much is the 360 camera Ed that wants to know? That is $229. $229. Uh, it is rechargeable, it's splash proof, but it's not waterproof. So I do want to make that uh, reckon. We're not going to go dump that one in the water bin. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let's show everybody that we're actually running this now again, and we'll we'll try and put a link it to it. It kind of looks like a cute little alien. I would it say it does. It does with those, uh, that little tripod on it. But uh, uh, that's a pretty camera. Now that that's about the third or fourth version of that that they it's they've had. Third generation, I believe. Because yeah. I've had I tried one of them and it was about that big. It was, <laughs> it was pretty big. But this is so small. Um, where you could really use that, I see that little 360 camera is. Uh, when you're out hiking, you're out, uh, you, you climb a mountain, you got a big canyon in front of you, to set that up, and, and uh, the beauty is that if you're watching it, you can just turn your device and it will actually show. Absolutely, and it's nice for people at home, uh, right, because so, they can pivot their phone or they can use your finger and kind of go through. I wonder if we can, that'll show, that's your thing. We'll see if it'll it. pop up there, we'll put it in front of the camera. He's actually watching it right now, um, and it's, uh, it's pretty good. Did you guys have any questions? Anything? What is the drawing for the door prizes? What is the drawing for the door prizes? I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going to... You get, on American RV, you can have as many hot dogs as you want. There's, there's and chips. Uh, and chips. Hot dogs, chips, and we've still got water, uh, and it's out there. Uh, so it's, it's, I still haven't found where the beer is. There, yeah. Well, if you it's do, later, right? I would like to know. That, I would like to know as well. Uh, as well. Uh, so we're going to have a, a fun. We've got. A, I don't know how many people are watching this right now. Uh, um, the beauty of Facebook Live is this makes a recording and they can watch this evergreen. Absolutely. I'll also put this on our YouTube channel, and we'll have to put a link to that 360 camera. But um, pretty, pretty neat stuff. Is there? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's let's go to. I'll let's go. Honest. Yeah. We gotta we gotta be really good. We gotta be professional here and okay. get a, get you asking. Well, go not for everyone it. is currently on a Verizon plan, right? So if a person's on some other plan happy with that what are their options for um, getting the, uh, the jetpack thing so i'm not uh, the carriers and what they carry as options i would speculate that they have something similar yes. but i just don't know i mean i don't know Pr you pretty know. much they do uh if just in case they have the microphone didn't pick up um you ask if uh what about people who are on other providers and the jetpacks almost all of the providers have a very vari variation of that card it's made by they're all made by the same company uh, I think Jetpack is your is yeah. Verizon's proprietary name, so you could. What? what who is your carrier? Uh, we're with uh, Credo. But Credo? Have you ever heard, heard of Credo? I haven't either. Are they a local? They're a reseller that I, produces part of the profits for. Who do you know? What network they use? Yeah. Do you know what network they're on? Because Credo. They use uh, Sprint. Sprint. Sprint does have one. If you went to a Sprint. Store, you could ask them. They're all almost everybody makes those cards. My thought is a little different, only that I don't think we're, we're going to spend a lot of time food docking. They have very good coverage. Mm -hmm. Verizon does have good coverage in that area. So, is it yep. different to buy a plan? It's not the same plan, it's just hard for the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So you, you can do that as well. So if you want to review, you know, like you, if you want to run your RP off of up one network and uh, right. different provider for another. You can say before they okay. before they scroll away, Karen yeah. asks. So I got a jetpack to use on the road. Are you saying that I could use it at home as an internet connection? If yes, could more than one person use the connection? Absolutely. I use mine all the time like that. Um, 
especially when I visit relatives or I'm someplace uh, staying in a hotel. Yes, sometimes we stay in hotels. <laughs> uh, I use it all the time. Now, I would caveat, um, if you're going to do it that way and you're on the Verizon Unlimited plan with our hotspot, it's 10 gigabytes at the 4G LTE speeds. You will be uh, dropped back to 3G uh, for anything above and beyond that. However, if you're back on your device itself, like your smartphone that you're doing your hotspot from, you can stream unlimited on that, uh, 22 gigs at 4, 4G, then you become prioritized, but for most people you don't ever notice that because it's not throttling, I want to be clear about that on your phone, but it, it, it means if you're in a congested cell site, you like might a go metro back area, to for a few seconds you might drop down, uh, in, you might notice a slower speed, but you'll pop right back up to yeah. full speed. So, so if, I, I guess I would add to that, if you're going to stream Netflix every day for mm -hmm. hours on end, it probably would be a good thing, even at home if, the, if you're not congested. Right. Um, you could, but you know, then you'd be using up your data real quick. So, uh, but it's a great connection, and and I think you'll be really happy with it. How do you watch television from the road? Do you have a dish type network, or use Netflix to, to find a local station? Well, if for Jennifer, and I, I we don't watch television. We, I mean, when Jennifer, when's the last time we watched TV? And have we ever watched it in the RV? No. No. Have we ever watched it? No. Never. We don't watch it. Never. We have a TV. Have a now we have watched DVDs <laughs> and we have watched sort of what you'd call television by streaming stuff with Netflix or Amazon, but very rarely. Um, I think the last time we did it, I was uh, caught up with some news story and we watched it. But, um, but but the bottom line is you certainly can. There's an antenna on the top of this vehicle and every RV has an antenna. Uh, it's a digital antenna. There's a television in our unit, there's a DVD in our unit, and you pick up over the air signals. If you're in a campground, most campgrounds have Wi-Fi connection, and you just connect, uh, or I'm sorry, they have, um, they have cable connections, and you just connect the cable to a little jack on the outside of the vehicle, and just like that, you got cable inside your RV. Other so. options, we've got, we talked about before, the Chromecast. Um, so what you can do, if you've got a Wi-Fi hotspot in your, in your vehicle, um, you actually plug this into your TV, it just plugs onto uh, HDMI port on the television, now you can stream everything from Netflix to YouTube. Uh, actually, anything that you can put on your device or see on your device can be streamed up on your television. And, and one of the benefits I think of that would be you'd always have really a nice uh, picture, it's nice yeah. image uh, picture. I've yet to see a digital television antenna that really looks good, um, unless you are really close to the station. They tend to break up even when you think you have a good signal, so it kind of goes from there. Well, listen, we have done this now for um, 30 minutes straight. That's pretty good for a live shot. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, I know many of you will have other questions, and uh, there will be a running commentary on this um, that will be up here on the um, Facebook page. We'll also link this to our YouTube channel. It will be up, and we'll put a link to this very cool video that uh, Steve has been doing on this 360 camera. But um, this has been fun, Steve. I, I was we not sure. Yeah, I think, we, where should we do it again? Location. Yeah, where, yeah, where should we do this? <laughs> Jennifer says we should do this in Hawaii. Uh, I think Can that would be there. Can we Europe? Yeah, we could do, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think this would be pretty good. Now, Steve's in the Midwest, I'm in the Midwest, but we can travel. I think it should be someplace really nice, like like, like Yosemite, yeah. Yosemite would be great. Uh, and, and if you guys have questions as you're watching this that we didn't address uh, about any of the equipment, just uh, just type it on the, uh, the questions and the comments under this video and uh, either Steve or, or me or Jennifer or somebody will go on and, and we'll uh, answer it. So uh, thank you all for watching. It's been fun being here. Thank you all for being here. Everybody here watch this live shot. Now we're going to go eat some hot dogs and talk to some more, uh, some more gear. Unless uh, any of you guys have questions at all? About anything? Were you taking them inside? I should, uh, uh, yeah. yeah I could get you got another one more, more question? Just one more question. Yeah. Um, Bill. When you're boondocking, you know, your, your jetpack depends on having a cell signal. Yep. And so some people have um, signal boosters in the rigs, like I think you do. Yes, I do. I and, do. Uh, you know, for those areas to, to help with that where you don't have a strong enough signal. Right. I'm wondering how well those work. I this, take that yeah, the signal booster works great. Um, we have, uh, you know, that I should talk to Ari Adler. You have, where's your unit? I didn't bring it today. You didn't bring it? No. Yeah, oh, I have a cell booster on it. Okay, uh, well, we'll, we'll ask somebody else too, but I'm going to, let me see if I can show you where our cell booster is. I don't have to kind of whip the camera around a little bit. Uh, well, we showed you on the inside picture, but there is a, I have an external antenna for it. 
that I, uh, and I think there's a video on someplace on our YouTube channel on this, but if you look up at the top, you see two antennas up there. The first one is the one for the automobile uh, AM radio station. You know, the AM radio is built into the dashboard. But that second little antenna right at the top, that is a cell phone booster external antenna. And I showed you that booster when we came in a little while ago. And uh, it works pretty good. It, uh, it, it, I've only needed it a couple of times this year. But a booster does really good. Now, here's somebody else I know that has the booster. Let's talk to Ari Adler for a minute. Ari, you got a booster? I do. I have, I have one of the WeBoost cellular boosters. How? Just tell, I've been talking about it for months and years, but give us your perspective of how it works. I, we think it's been great. I mean, if, if you have any kind of signal at all, it will boost it. Um, I've had I've been in the woods in Michigan up north and had a 1x signal on my on my cell phone, which is back you know what in the 90s or whatever we had that. And you turn on the booster, it'll go to a 3G signal. Um, if you have 3G, it'll sometimes take it to 4G. Uh, either on 3G or 4G, if you have one or two bars, you can go to three or four bars. So it has been tremendously helpful. So, and it's a, I'd say it's a pretty good investment for people to make if, if being connected. If, if being connected is important to you and you need it, uh, yeah, I mean, it allows me to get away a little earlier from work and still be connected um, and still be available. Which now I saw maybe that's a bad thing. That's a good I, thing. Now, <laughs> I, saw a post, I saw a post on our Facebook group. You actually had some work to do, but you just went out in your RV and did some work from the road in it. Uh, and because of that cell phone booster, I guess you had that confidence that you'd have a good signal. Right? Yeah, and I've actually traveled, had to do some travel for work that I've taken the, the RV specifically, I've taken my road track and with the booster I've been able to, to be able to do things out on the road. Uh, while I was in route or, or parked waiting for something to happen. Yep, so it's a, it's a good boost. It's a great boost. And Jesse, you are, you're a uh, runner, travel all over the place, yep. and the RV follows you around. It does follow it, me it around. Follows yeah. you around. Do you ever think you're being, stalked? you're being stalked? You're being stalked? Yeah, yeah who's that creepy guy in the white van <laughs> following yeah. me? At least, at least yeah. the windows aren't painted she over. She travels with her own entourage. <laughs> it's great. Uh, it's great to be Just say hi to everybody. Where, hi, where everybody. are you from? Uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids. Yep. Yeah, it's good. Dick. Mike, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah, I met Dick five years ago at the very first rally for the family motor cars. Start. Yeah, he did. I did. He asked me to come on his panel, and uh, I was pretty nervous about that. And Bill? I'm, I'm Bill Shattuck. I'm from Sturm Lake, Michigan. And where'd you get that great hat? I, I found it here. All I was doing was helping hold a dog, and all of a sudden the hat appeared. Bill got a hat because he took care of Bo when we first started off like this, so, so it worked real good. As you can see, Steve is back now uh, helping everybody figure out some of this equipment. And uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank our friends and our hosts here at American RV for uh, providing us. Uh, here, folks at home, before you, uh, before we go, help yourself to a hot dog. You can have a hot dog. There you go. We got lots of hot dogs. No trekking hat, right? Yeah. Well, Jennifer, um, this was fun. It was fun. It's always fun to uh, fellow RVers, and we are delighted. Here's our plans. Uh, after um, we finish this, as soon as we, we, we finish this, there's a little button we can push, and this will make a recording as we talk about traveling tech. We'll try and put links to many of the uh, products that we showed you today so you can learn more about them. And again, if you have questions, just ask the questions and we'll answer them. It was so much fun. Our two-year-old granddaughter, Jovi, was here, and she was in tears when she left because there were hot dogs, potato chips. Oh, I shouldn't have said that because her mom's listening. Yeah. But uh, she, uh, she, she, uh, she had a party. Yeah, she did. Uh, again, uh, we uh, can't say nice enough things about these folks who uh, were so welcoming to us. Uh, we are at uh, American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and they have uh, just been uh, wonderful hosts. And, uh, this is uh, thank uh, Rebecca and her crew, and uh, thank uh, the folks at Verizon Wireless who agreed to come by. Uh, and uh, Steve, uh, who was here, and uh, now you have a face. I'm going to go back and let Steve say goodbye as well. All right. Hey, Steve, say goodbye to everybody as we go. See everybody, thanks for yeah. watching. It's been fun. Yeah, we'll you'll hear back, Steve. Right? Uh, yeah, we'll be doing this someplace else, and you'll hear Steve again every Wednesday, of course, on the RV podcast. So uh, go ahead. Um, I think we should give all these away to everybody yeah, as at the end of the day. Yeah. Thanks for bringing all of this stuff out, uh, and we uh, we love doing these things. So you can look for this here on this um, on our Facebook page, uh, YouTube, our Road Trucking Facebook page, and also our YouTube uh, channel. And if you haven't been over there, it's the RV Lifestyle. Just look for RV Lifestyle Channel, uh, or go to that URL, RVLifestyleChannel.com. It'll take you to our YouTube channel. We've been putting videos up all the time for the last couple of months. Many, many more planned. And we invite you to subscribe to our channel so uh, then you'll know when we got new ones. 
All right, say goodbye. Bye bye. Thanks right. for thanks for joining thanks, us. Thanks everybody. We'll see you out there road trekking somewhere across North America. Bye bye.